Mom, can we have Gyrojet, please? No, son. We have Gyrojet at home. Well, yes, we do actually have a new Gyrojet in the form of the AWS. The Arctic Warfare. Silly. Silly. I'm gonna assume it means suppressed, but yes, we do have a new Gyrojet in the AWS. What does that mean? Well, in today's video, we are going to find out just what it means if something is a Gyrojet, and we're gonna find out just why I had to aim so high right there to get that kill with a sniper. For a little bit of context, the Gyrojet is both a pistol and a carbine with uh, basically rocket-powered bullets, and pretty much the way that this weapon works, if you don't already know, is that it does more damage the farther away you are. Whereas with most weapons in Phantom Forces, the farther away you are, the more that your damage drops off. So in this case, the AKU-12, out to 50 studs, it does 36 damage, and then it begins to drop off out to a minimum of 17 damage at 95 studs. Now, if we go back over to, not this, not you, you'll have your turn. If we go to the Gyrojet Carbine right here, you could see that out to 25 studs, we're doing only 30 damage, but the farther out you go, the higher the graph goes, out to a maximum range of 150, doing up to 50 damage. And of course, with having a two-times torso multiplier, it basically means that if you hit a torso shot at least, then you will get a guaranteed kill. Now, the only other weapon in the entirety of Phantom Forces up until now that actually has done this is going to be the most recent change to the M107, or one of the most recent changes because apparently they decided to do whatever's going on here, but again, you'll get your turn, M107. So you can see, I couldn't kill that guy. I got a torso shot, could not kill him because I'm not far enough away. But if I find a guy, say, right here, I can actually get a one-shot kill with it. Pretty sweet. But if we just take the regular AWS, you'll see it does 80 damage out to 50 studs. It goes down to 70 damage at 115 studs with okay multipliers. It's a pretty good sniper. It's got pretty cool looking little iron sights and stuff. It's, it's all neat. However, there is a new ammo conversion, which I didn't go over in yesterday's video because I didn't see it in the changelog, is going to be the 762 by 51 subsonic ammo, only requiring 255 kills, which is pretty good for a conversion like this. And pretty much what it does is it... <laughs> I mean, it does that, but we'll go over that in a moment here. <laughs> it pretty much decreases your noise, way decreases your muzzle velocity, and has a super reduced suppression effect where basically whoever you're shooting at is not going to know that you're shooting at them. So they're just going to stand there. Uh, I assume we'll see that here pretty soon. And also because the default scope that comes with it got a buff, you can now press T with it to get like this alt aim mode, which is honestly super nice. But as you can see, we do have really, really good one shot potential out to a substantial range. And that is thanks to... um. <laughs> <laughs> whatever's going on here. Let's analyze this. So our initial damage is only going to be 80, not including multipliers, out to 40 studs. To which between 40 and 130, it dips as low as 70 damage, out to 100 studs, and then goes quickly back up to 130, range having 80 damage. From 130 to 180, it does 80 damage, and then rapidly climbs to 100 damage at 240 studs. Meaning that pretty much anywhere between 200 and 240, including the multipliers, you're going to get a guaranteed one shot, and anything out 240 studs, and beyond is going to be a guaranteed one shot no matter where you hit the player. So on a map like Second Storm, that translates to me looking at an enemy at about this far and being able to kill him. Now we do actually have some downsides with it. If we go back and compare it to the Gyrojet, you can see with the Gyrojet, you can see the tracers. So I know where my drop off is and I can adjust accordingly. However, with this, it is also tracerless ammo. So pretty much I'm left to mostly guess where my shots are going. Now I have played a little bit enough with this to kind of understand where the drop off goes. It feels pretty similar to the Gyrojet. So if you know how to use that weapon, you'll most likely know how to use this weapon with this conversion, but that's pretty much what we've got with this. And honestly, it is just, I I'm here for it, dude. I'm here for it. Now, one of the other downsides with this is that it is a bolt action sniper. So as bolt action snipers typically work in Phantom Forces, if I shoot once, I can't reload the weapon until I scope out. So I'm kind of losing a little bit of that gyro jet kind of spammable feel. So in my case, I'm forced to kind of choose the marksman kit. That way I can have these follow-up shots, but I really don't know the drop off of this yet. So ballistics tracker for now it is. And very helpful ballistics tracker is, it's honestly going to be probably the best attachment to get used to the drop off for this weapon. And dude, I'm just, I'm just having a good time with it. It just makes the sniper a lot e easier to use. It is a little bit of a crutch whenever it comes to this particular conversion, but that's okay. Ooh, dude. And I mean, it does have, like I said, 240 studs is kind of a, a pretty big distance to be able to ask for whenever you're talking about this much drop off. Man, I can't even see where the bullet is going, dude. 
It is just like, I have no idea. I will say there is another similarity between this and the gyro jet. That is going to be in terms of muzzle velocity. If we take something standard like the BFG, it's going to have a muzzle velocity of 3000, which is how fast the bullet leaves your barrel. It's basically going 3000 studs a second. So if I take the BFG, basically wherever I click is going to be a kill. Also, that was a really sick wall bang right there. Pretty much whenever I click, it is going to immediately hit the enemy. And if we take a look at the gyro jet, we have way less than half at 1250. And if we go back to the AWS, you can see we have a muzzle velocity velocity of 1100, almost a third of the speed of the BFG. So we are having an extremely slow moving bullet too. So not only do you have to compensate for like drop off, but if a player is moving, you're just not going to hit them. Like you need the, your player to be standing completely still or else there's just going to be very little to no compensating for it. What is he doing, bro? He's just standing there. Hold up. I didn't even see the explosion. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Guess there's no explosion from this anymore. Very cool. But yeah, so that's a nice little touch as well. So if you really don't want to be heard and you really want to be sneaky, like, like that guy was trying to be right there. I don't know what that was. Then this could be the conversion for you. Let's go. Let's go. Now, it also is beneficial as well. We get a gargantuan magazine of 11 rounds. So if you do use something like the marksman kit, you have quite a bit of room for like follow-up shots. You have more magazine capacity than a gyro jet. I wouldn't argue that this is better than a gyro jet. This is literally just gyro jet at home. Are, are you okay? I, I don't know what his plan was there. I'll, I'll pick this up, I guess. What was, what was his plan? Oh, collateral. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, I got my triple kill. That was, that was my best clip of the game so far. <laughs> now, this is going to be the true test of a sniper. Can it be OP in Metro? All right, let's 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 get to like a, a, an actual sniping spot here because I can make this work. I know that I can. <gasps> hey, I did it. Okay. Honestly, we could probably take this to something like Mirage. <sighs> I dread how this is going to go, but I'm going to assume it's not going to be the worst. I think there's a lot of things worse than Mirage in this game. Now, where is Blizzard? Give me Blizzard back. Oh, that guy disappeared. Where'd he, <laughs> where'd he go? Free my boy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting shot at. I, 11 directions. Thank God. Bro. This is one of those that like, you're really going to have to take time to learn this. Because if someone's even moving like an inch to the left, it, you still have to compensate for that. Oh, man. No, this is... I know. Skill issue. Get it out. I, I, I can already see the comments in my head. Bro. Bro, bro. Okay, finally. I was about to say, dude, if I dumped that whole mag and still missed, it'd be over, dude. I'd go to bed right now. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I see him. I see you now. That's it. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. There we go. Oh, dude. It's it's almost like the Styra Scout in a way. Not necessarily performance-wise, just in like the... like. How satisfying the kills are to get with this. Oh, I got a wall bang. I didn't think this thing had any penetration to it. We'll check We'll check what the pen is on this after I die. Which, if I'm honest, will be any second now. Oh, dude. I had to aim so far in front of that guy. That's, ugh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Dude. This is... <laughs> the... <laughs> This is a pretty good map to play with this conversion. I'm really not a Mirage guy, to be honest. This is not really my my forte. But anyway, let's check the pen on this. So we are looking at just 1.8, so that's really not much. Imagine if they added perks. So, like, I could make it where ballistic trackers can't see me. You know how annoying that would be for other players? Don't do that. My ballistics tracker isn't picking him up. Does he have the perk, bro? <laughs> bro got the perk early, dude. No way. It's literally just not picking him up, dude. Why? I would absolutely love to know if anybody could explain that to me. I, I really don't use the AWS all too much. I've maybe gotten like 100 kills or so with it today so far since I've started using it. So I had like just over 100-ish kills by the time that I actually really started using this conversion for it. And I feel like it's actually just even default a really good sniper. The downside, of course, is that it's just kind of one of those snipers where you mostly have to focus on headshots. Putting this conversion aside, which I'm not a big fan of. I know there's probably other people who aren't a big fan of playing with snipers like that. I've said before, I prefer a much more traditional kind of sniping thing. You point, you click, you get the kill. However, this is acceptable too. There we go. <laughs> is he going to be back in that corner? I, I hate this guy, bro. He needs to get out of that corner. My ballistics tracker will not see him up there. Maybe that's his strat, dude. And I will say, I'm really not a big fan whenever they do like that multi-graph, like multi-point graph thing. 
I feel like it's just a little bit too cumbersome and it feels like it makes it a little bit too weird as if like halfway through the bullet's travel time, the wind picks it up and makes it go a little bit faster or just, I don't know, something, something weird like that, right? However, seemingly, as long as you get, like, good distance, snipers that do have that, things like this, and things like the M107, that have that weird multi-point graph system, it feels like just once you get a distance going, it's fine. Like, it gets the job done. The bro is standing still, and I cannot kill him. But yeah, it's pretty much it for this. It's a cool budget at-home gyro jet for lower levels. The gyro jet's, like, level, a pretty high level. Yeah, rank 127. So this is your easy way. AWS rank 41. What is it, like 255 kills for that particular conversion? 255, yeah. And you basically got yourself a semi-automatic gyro jet. Or I should say, like a slower gyro jet. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe with notifications on to get notified of all new videos. And if you guys think that these videos are worth some of your money, you can become my channel member with the link in the description below. It is essentially YouTube's version of Patreon. And you'll be helping out the channel a ton. Of course, shout out to the top tier channel members here. That's going to be Solitude, Purple Moon Cat. Jared Smith, Sienna, Lumpy Bacon Face, Trooper MLG, and Lazy Goth. You guys are awesome. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, consider watching the Phantom Forces playlist with over 400 videos up on screen right now. Peace.